Hey guys, welcome to tonight's BB Can 9 chat. It's episode 18. Yes, it is. But first, we got the sad... Well, we got the sad news the other day that Nikki Graham had passed, and I was just, like, so... <sighs> busted up about it. I still can't believe it. It's so upsetting. I feel like... <sighs> she was so full of life, and mm -hmm. now... She's gone, and it just kills me because I she know. was, like, one of the best of all time. She's just such a, um, an amazing human being, too, so it's very upsetting, but they had a beautiful tribute for her. Mm -hmm. Rissa came on and was talking about Nikki, so I'm really glad that they did that. I um, wish I had seen her on the UK version. Well, we can still go back and watch. Well, we should, but we will never uh, duplicate the banter between her and Tim. I know, and when I that saw was so fun Tim's post the other day about Nikki, I did you I, lose it? I lost it. It was very, very sweet, but yeah, we still to this day do our Nikki impressions mm -hmm. of. Did everyone get to double? Yeah, there were so many amazing moments. Yes, watching there were. Her. So we are gonna miss her. Lots of love to all of her family and friends. Yep. It's hard to even, like, go on and talk about an episode I after know. that. Because it's just, it's so upsetting. But we were lucky that um, we got to see her. Yeah, because otherwise I wouldn't have known yeah. of her. So thank you, Big Brother Canada, for sharing Nikki with us. Mm -hmm. We loved her. Yes. Rest in peace, Nikki. Yep. All right, so last time... It was a double eviction, baby. Oh, boy. And, um... Some really entertaining house guests left the show, unfortunately. I feel like oh, the, in the show same night. just went to hell in like one episode. Spicy V and Rohan in the same night? <sighs> Stick a fork in this, it's done. Yes and no. This <laughs> week is turning out to be a lot more exciting than I thought All it right. would be, but yeah. But how exciting will it be after this week? I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> it depends on who wins HOH. We'll see what happens, but let's, see. let's not get ahead of ourselves. Oh. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Kiefer is so confident. I mean, he's coming off of a big win in the double eviction. He just made a huge move by not targeting the trio mm -hmm. yet again. He's crushing people's dreams so that his can go on. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I think he made a mistake, but um, yeah. he's feeling really confident about his moves. Brayden is ready to start winning. Uh, I, what day I, is it? <laughs> I know. I love how these people are like, they make it halfway through the game and they're like, oh, it's time, to get, off, now. It's time to get off my ass and do something because otherwise I'm probably not going to be here. I mean, I think Brayden was wanting to win things before, but now he's realizing he has to <laughs> start winning things. So yeah. I think there's a little bit more fire there. Yeah. So unbeknownst to us... Mm -hmm. Before Vic, Spicy Vic left, <laughs> she called out Brayden. Well, we did know this because she did, said it. I did not know this. You don't watch my spoiler videos. <laughs> um, yeah, she she told on Brayden. She let the thruple know. <laughs> teacher, teacher, teacher. Brayden and Rohan working together. Oh. You can't trust him. I know Brayden's getting super close to you all of a sudden, but yeah, he's working with Rohan. And they were like, oh, really? Hmm. You know what makes me hate this show? What? Beth cackling. Ugh. I can't. I can't. Yeah. <laughs> I just can't. It's a lot. She's very loud. You know, <laughs> she calls out other people for, like, coasting through the game and Okay, whatnot, Miss, but, uh, like, just won an HOH last week. Like, what were you doing before that? Yeah. So, yeah. But, of course, Beth is all about calling people out now and calling them floaters. Yeah. All right, so the Sunsetters are just sitting around. Because they dance all night. Because they think they're, they're the best, best alliance ever. ever. <laughs> they just can't stop. They're just like, oh my god. Nobody as good as us has ever played this game. Uh, hello? Did you see like two seasons back when they steamrolled from day one? Yeah. That was better. <laughs> Pretty boys. I mean, horrible to watch, but but better. dominant. Yeah. So, <sighs> um, did they see the horrible <laughs> BB All Stars two? Pretty dominant. Yeah. Again, horrible to watch. Yes. 
Okay, so uh, I don't know why Kiefer decided that he was going to tell his alliance. Mm. In this moment. In this moment that he saved them on uh, Spicy V's Invisible HOH. He's like, right. 15 minutes after the Invisible HOH competition, Victoria told me that she won, and she said that she was going to put up two of you guys, and I told her no. And they're all just like, yikes, why didn't you tell us that? before when we were trying to, to decide if we were going to keep right. Victoria or get rid of her. Like, that would have been really useful information before. Well, at first they thought, did he make this up? Yeah, like, you know, because why wouldn't he tell us that before? Honestly, I don't even know that that's true. Like, we know that Victoria told him mm -hmm. that she won, but I don't know if she would have targeted the thruple if Kiefer uh And I don't know that she would have listened you know to I mean? him anyway. Yeah, I'm not you know? so sure what her um, thinking was on her targets, so I, I don't know. I don't know. Because the feeds were down a lot right. that week, so it's tough to say, but we know that she told him. Right. We know that. We notice. <laughs> Thank you. We don't know if she was actually planning on targeting the thruple. We don't know this. Right. All right, so Tina, Tara, Brayden, mm -hmm. things not looking so good for them. Um, yeah, the former oddballs, they're realizing, holy crap, if we even wanted to, like, if we even won HOH, could we take out anyone from the thruple at this point? Like, the numbers are so Stacked low right now. Them, yeah. yeah. Could, would we even have the votes to make it happen? So, I mean, it depends on the situation, but it's yeah. definitely a tough road ahead for them. Okay, so let's put the game aside. Okay. We're going to have our final seven. Uh, we survived the double eviction mm -hmm. dinner. Yep. Did they get takeout? Or I don't think so. I think Kiefer They made, made a that. nice home-cooked think... meal. Yeah, so they're all like, oh my God, did you ever think that this would be the final seven? No, Tina. <laughs> the oldest lady in the game. Or the old... Is she like the oldest? Uh, this season. She... This season? Mm -hmm. She's not as old as Karen? I don't was. think so. Okay, because Karen's a goat. <laughs> as in, like, greatest of all time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> a goat, an old goat. What? What does that mean? Because <laughs> she's the old goat. Okay. A, like a goat, but old. Your favorite older house guest. Right. Okay. <laughs> right. Okay. Maybe uh, one of my top five favorite of all time, maybe. She was very entertaining. She was very entertaining. We love you, Karen. Her can, her melted wax skin, or what, what was what? it, candle wax skin? I don't remember. <laughs> hilarious. But yeah, um, they're all like, oh my god, I can't believe we made it, mm -hmm. we're so amazing, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So, Beth wants Brayden to win, mm -hmm. because she realizes that... Uh, Kiefer needs to go. Yeah, she doesn't want to do this it. Week. Yeah, she wants Brayden to do their dirty work for them. Do you guys think Brayden would actually do that if he won HOH? Or would he make a big move and go for the thruple? Ooh. It's tough to say. I'm really, I honestly don't know what Brayden would do if he won HOH. Yeah, but it is tough to say. I don't know if he would do that or not. Beth is really banking on this. She's getting all pumped up. She's like, we can do whatever we want. Kiefer's the new Victoria. <gasps> yeah, and then she just randomly like starts doing push-ups. They only showed one on the show, which made her look but even lamer. How many were they? Were? How many were they? I don't remember, but it was definitely more than one. Um, right. But this just made her look, like, actually insane. <laughs> All right. Um, I felt really bad for Tara during this episode. Mm -hmm. She was, um, I guess she was, like, doing yoga in the Expedia room. I think she was trying to, like, prep for this HOH competition. Pump herself up. Um, possibly she, try and get some inspiration from yeah. her brother. She had mentioned before that the anniversary of her brother's passing is today, today. Monday. Yeah. So she was really wanting to win that HOH so that her family would see her win it today. Um, so she was really trying to get pumped up for that competition. Yeah. But it's time for the HOH competition. Oh my goodness. The ball pit finally coming into play here. Ballroom blitz. AKA. Ball pit blitz. Yeah. <laughs> Ballroom blitz, yeah, uh, just like uh, Canada style. We got a whole, a whole room full of balls. Mm -hmm. Plus, they added in special balls just yes. for the competition. I wonder how many that they actually didn't find. I don't know. Do you think they got all of them? 
I doubt it. Because that's a lot of balls. I to mean, they only through. had 20 minutes, right, to search through. I guess. So yeah. they had 20 minutes. They had to run back and forth between the ball pit and the backyard. And you had to fill up your own vessel. Well, they had two. They yeah. had a tube and they had an arrow. Right. So you want to fill up your own vessel with the white, plain white balls. You want to fill up the arrow yeah, <laughs> with the whatever. plain ones. And the tube on the side with the X ones. You uh, want to fill up other people's. Right. That's a minus. every X against someone is uh, subtracted from their total ball count. Right. A one-to-one -one ratio? Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. All right, so, so... you can only carry five balls at a time. Right. But it seemed like everybody was ganging up on Tara. Ugh, well, of course not Tina. No. But even Brayden was, like, contributing to that. That just sucks. Man, that's rough to have a competition like this so close towards the end of the game. Like, a competition that's going to benefit people in a big alliance. Yeah. Just really goes to show you got to break up those groups, those big groups. I'm surprised uh, that Brayden also played along. I'm not surprised because he's feeling pretty good with the trio right now and he doesn't want to, like, show his ass during the competition <laughs> like this. You know what I mean? Yeah, but I mean, he... He felt well, like he'd be safe with them if, if they won. Well, he didn't really contribute that much, because I thought during the he competition he very said well that he was avoiding too. the uh, X-Balls. Mm -hmm. So He was putting a lot of regular ones into his arrow. Right. So, Jed once, and Brayden were leading. They were. And once Tara saw how many X's she had in her tube, she was like... What's the point? Like, I'm never going to be able to do this. No way. So she just stopped. Yeah, I think, didn't she have, like, a negative 12? Because it was, like, 12 or 13, like yeah. And she was like, there's no way I'm going to be able to overcome this. And she was so far behind anyway. She was like, F it. I'm just going to sit here, and I'm going to talk some trash. So it's just, like, her and Kiefer out there, because Kiefer's hosting. Mm -hmm. And she's talking about, like, you're all cowards. Like, I'm voting for Jed in the end. Yeah, He's playing the best game. Yeah, she got into a shouting match with Kiefer during the uh, competition. Well, Kiefer got all pressed because she was like, Jed's the best, and he's going to win. I'm going to vote for him. So anyone who says that they're not voting for Kiefer, he's like, oh. So <laughs> he got all upset about that. But, yeah, they were going back and forth, but and it got heated. It was hilarious because uh, she told him that he was going to get cut, and he's like, no way. I'm not going to get cut. I don't think so. Um, <laughs> okay. It was he, wild. Here's the results. Last place, Tara. I mean, yeah, everybody saw that coming. Tina was second to last, I believe. But they couldn't even, like, finish the standings right away because after she found out that she was in last place. Oh, yeah. She, she kept started chirping. talking smack on everybody. Yeah, she kept saying, like, I'm going to vote for Jed because he's the best. Teams don't win, BB. I mean, she does have a point. Um... Okay, as a viewer, I will say, yeah, it's really annoying. But as we've seen many times, if you have a team that's going to help you get closer to the end. Yeah. You don't win as a team, but you, I mean, it will help you get to the end. She did have the oddballs, but they just they weren't sucked. They, very good. They turned on each other in two seconds once they lost power. Yeah. They, they, exactly, they weren't exactly, like, big threats either, like, comp beasts. No, they or, were not. All right, well, it came down to Jed and Brayden, mm -hmm. and Jed came in first, and Brayden came in second. Yeah. Now, my question to you is, during the competition, okay. Brayden found Kiefer's glasses. Yeah, that was and wild. And wasted some time taking them back to Kiefer and being like, hey, I found your glasses, you know, or like, hey, I found mm -hmm. these glasses, who are they? You know, do you think if he hadn't wasted time with the glasses that he possibly could have won? It's I mean, tough how to close say. was it? It's tough to say because they didn't show this on feeds, of course, and they didn't even say how many balls Brayden had. Right. So it's tough to say how close that was, plus they were running out of balls, you know? Right. It was taking them a long time towards the end to find more balls. So I don't know if it was even... A thing at that point. Well, Jed did fill up uh, or start to fill up his overflow basket. Brayden, yeah, Brayden was in his overflow basket as well. Oh, but, he was? Yeah, but I mean, okay. I, I think it was pretty clear that Jed was winning. Okay. But how wild would that have been if the glasses were the reason yeah. that uh I don't Brayden think so, lost? though, because 
I don't think Brayden would have done that. Okay. So, after uh, we find out that Jed is the winner, then uh, Jed and Beth are having a chat. Well, uh, they also announced there's no have-nots this week. Oh, yes. So everyone was like, yeah! Yay! They usually do that after a double anyway. There's no have-nots that week because it's just too taxing. Mm. They can't handle it. They need to get their nourishment back. Right. All right, well, Beth and Jed are celebrating in the storage room shortly oh during my God, the time. Oh, my God, babe. This is a team game. What is she talking about? This thruple, I just... It's mostly Beth. <laughs> I just can't. The cackle. The <sighs> cackle. No, it's like her attitude. It's just... Yes, you got uh, in a three-way relationship with the two strongest uh, comp mm. beasts in the house. Well, I can't even call them comp beasts. They haven't won that many comps. But they can. Apparently can they, they couldn't. <laughs> I mean, they're starting to now, but early on in the game they weren't. But, mm. like, everybody was always scared of that threat just because they're so athletic. Mm -hmm. And Jed has proven he's very good at mental competitions as well. Yeah. So. All right, well... <laughs> Tara is upset and frustrated. She feels ganged up on. I can't blame her, but, like, I can blame her. Mm. So, Jed talks to Tara, and she's like, like... I love when he was like, can you, like, stop saying stuff about me like that? Because it's going to, like, put a target on me. And she's like, no, it doesn't matter. Like, nobody's targeted you yet, so whatever. Everybody is going to vote for you because you are the best, and you've just been, like... Steamrolling everyone, and you know, mm. well, you have my vote. Now yeah, I'm gonna she convince said, the whole jury house to vote for you. She was like, I think your game is amazing, like, you have my vote. But then she was like, But no one will listen to me anyway. <laughs> Make up your mind. I mean, you're not wrong. I don't see Tara having a ton of influence in the jury house. No, all right. So, <clears throat> who wants to see Jed's HOH room? Okay, <laughs> he had some nice picks. Uh, his sis his little sister sent her blanket. That's so cute. I love that. Yeah, it was very, very cute. Uh, he got a letter from his dad, mm -hmm. who's not very emoshi. I didn't see too many tears after that letter, so... But I don't it's know, sweet. I thought it was very sweet. Yeah. So, Beth is... Back to the game. <sighs> She's starting to not like Brayden. Uh, what? Because Brayden can't offer you anything game-wise right now? Or he didn't win, so he can't take out Kiefer for you. Now you don't really like him anymore. Exactly. Um, she was all too happy to hang out with him before. Yeah. He hasn't done anything. He's been carried this whole time, and I've been doing stuff. I've had to do stuff. Oh, my God. <laughs> I just... Beth is a lot. All right. Well, Tina and Jed have a chat. Tina says... Well, wait. Kiefer talks to Tina, and he lets her know... Guess what? Oh, right. It might not be Tara this week. It might be Brayden. Yeah, so you might want to, like, push for that. Mm hmm So Tina's like, okay, I guess I gotta take my tea and go pitch. She's always got tea! She's waiting room Tina. I guess. All right, so she's talking to Jed, and she's like, I know my bestie T uh, Tara's going up. But, like, do you know who you're gonna put next to her? Don't, don't do me. <laughs> we're like the sunsetters, you know? Yeah. Um, we're like the sunsetters. You, oh, can you do me a solid mm -hmm. and, like, not put me up on, don't tase me, bro? Yeah. And he's like, oh, um, yeah, you're a sunsetter, right? I want, like, the well, final five to be sunsetters. At that point, I think he was genuine about that because they want Tina at the end because mm -hmm. they feel like she'll be easy to beat in the final four. Yeah. They're down for that. But he feels like... He's got to put Tina up because he's putting Tara up. So you don't right. just, like, put up one from the duo. TNT. Yeah. You got to put up both because if right. one is up and the other one's the veto, and that fits they're with both going to be safe. That fits with his narrative as right. well. But he did let Tina know, you're going to be safe this week no matter what. Um, if Tara comes down with the POV, I'm going to put up somebody else that's going to become the new target. Mm -hmm. So don't worry about it. Right. So she's like, Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> so now it's time for Wendy. Oh. And Jed decides Oh, I also to want take... to say, too, Tina was pushing for Brady to go up. Stop, stop. Right. <laughs> okay. So Jed decides to take Tara. Stop, and she's stop. all excited. And I would be, too. Because mm -hmm. I want that food. 
even though it's not vegan. No, no. <laughs> yeah, you don't want that food. <laughs> All right. Well, then I know you, you want your bite the burger stuff. moment. But. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So we get a video from his little sister when he goes to pick up the food, and she was just so she's adorable. Cute. With her little purple glasses on. Yeah, very, very cute. Very cute. So then uh, he brings back the food to Tara, and Tara is like, um, I would have put you and Ty up no, if I had what? Won. Why would you say that? Wow. Oh, my God. Tara. Um, that was a lot. So then they're talking more. <laughs> At least lie. <laughs> I know. And she was like, um, everybody... In this house is like against me. Everybody, I'm like everybody's target. Um, whoever wins HOH, except for like Tina. Mm -hmm. They had a very candid conversation. Yeah. I think Jed actually kind of appreciated it in a way. Did he? I think so. Okay. Well, then she threw Tina under the bus, and I was like, ooh. This was weird because she said this to a lot of people many times about how. Tina's name never comes up, and she's always hearing her own name, but, like, Tina's always good with everyone, and it almost seemed like she was, like, throwing her under the bus, but I don't think she actually was. I feel like that was edited in a way. I don't know what that would accomplish I don't anyway, think, though. I don't think she was trying to throw Tina under the bus. I, I don't know. I think maybe she was just trying to blow off some steam because she's, like, frustrated. Yeah, that but I don't think she was trying to be, like, trying put to up play Tina. And, like, Tina is just coasting yeah. because she's, you know, somebody that everybody would want to take to the end that sure. they could win against. Mm -hmm. So that's Yeah, it came upsetting. off weird, though. It is kind of weird, though. It came though. off weird. Because it, it is. All right, so Jed and Brayden. Brayden's immediately like, so what's going on? Like, who are you putting <sighs> up? <laughs> what are people saying? I think the thruple is getting really tired they're, of Raiden. They're but, like over especially him. Beth. Yeah. Oh yeah. But they got his number. They Jed is super out. super annoyed as well. Yeah. But again, they were all buddy buddy with him when they thought he would have something to offer. Mm hmm But it, it just it feels slimy now when when he comes in and because it's like obvious. Yeah. It's, he only shows up when you know. No, he's like always trying to hang out. Oh. That's why they're annoyed, too, but, like, you got rid of all of his allies, so yeah, what do you want? that's true. All right, so Jed and Beth. Beth wants Kiefer out. Mm -hmm. uh, Kiefer wants uh, Tina and Tara up. Everybody wants something else. Yeah. <laughs> so it's time for the nominations. Okay. And Tara goes up, and Jed's reason was... You've been saying my name. <laughs> you said it to my face. <laughs> and you're an emotional player. Yeah, you're a wild card. This is this has got to happen. Yeah. Tina, you're in a duo with Tara. That's what it is. Pretty much. All right. I mean, he had valid reasons, so. Yeah. I mean, of she told. Of course. She said to his face, I would have put you up. Of course. But Jed in the diary room was all like, I might have some other stuff up my sleeve this week. I might have another idea in mind. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. If you guys are not watching the live feeds, why not? <laughs> yeah. Uh, or your spoilers, actually. Yeah. If You're you missing don't have time it. For the live, live feeds, just get a short Wrap consensus. Up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I should probably be watching that. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> but let us know what you guys think about all this in the comments. I'm telling you, it's going to get interesting come Wednesday with this POV. Yeah, you're not so. gonna you're not gonna regret it. Yeah. All right, so uh, I guess we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, me, oh, I was like, what? What day is it? Spoiler we'll see tomorrow. See her tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> you won't see me till Wednesday. All right. Well, thank you all so much for watching. Leave your thoughts in the comments, and until next time, much, much love. love.